Pedro felt a little bit warm and it's slightly raised. Okay, how does he seem in himself? He seems okay, he's acting fine and being his normal self. Okay, I mean we don't want to be too harsh and just send him home with a slightly raised temperature. Maybe we can control it with Calpol, call his parents to see if that's okay to give him some. Okay, I will do. Okay, mum didn't answer, I'm gonna try dad. Hello? Hi, it's just the nursery calling. Oh, hello? We just wanted to let you know that Jeffrey has a slightly raised temperature, so would you be happy for us to give him five months of Calpol? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, blimey, I thought you were calling to send him home. No, we'd like to try and manage the temperature with Calpol first if you're happy for us to do that. Yes, that's absolutely fine. Go right ahead. Okay, great. Thanks very much. Bye. Okay, Jeffrey's dad said it's absolutely fine to give him Calpol ding, and... Ding, oh, ding. Sorry. Hello, the nursery. Hi, this is Jeffrey's mother. I got a voicemail about him. Hi, thanks for calling back. I was actually just on the phone with Dad. It was about Jeffrey. His temperature was slightly raised, so we were calling to see if it was okay to give him some cowpole. Oh, thank goodness. I, I thought you were calling to send him home. <laughs> no, no. We, um, I said to Dad we were just trying to manage it with cowpole first because it's only slightly raised and he seems fine in himself. Okay, great. Yes, go ahead with the cowpole. Okay, great. Thanks very much. Bye. Ding, ding. Hello, the nursery. Oh, hello. Um, it's Jeffrey's mother. Oh, hi. Uh, we gave Jeffrey the cowpaw, and it did bring his temperature down slightly, so he's absolutely fine now. Oh, that's great. That's um, uh, that's actually not why I'm calling. Oh, sorry. I've decided it might be best if he comes home. Um, I actually have COVID. Okay. Um, has he been tested? No, he hasn't, so um, I'm just going to have him collected so I can test him at home. Okay. Hello, the nursery. Hi, it's Jeffrey's mother. Hello, how's Jeffrey? What? Well, <laughs> he's tested positive. <laughs> it's a bit bizarre, really. <laughs> that is bizarre. So this is our baby room. And this is one of our staff members. Hello. I'm curious. My little one is breastfed. How do you feed the breastfed babies? It's whatever you're comfortable with. So we have some mothers who like us to use our formula during the day. And then when they come and collect at the end of the day, they'll breastfeed their baby just before they head home. So they'll fall asleep in the car. I didn't say I wanted to use formula. No problem. You're more than welcome to bring in your express milk and we'll store it safely. And then we can use that to feed baby throughout the day. Express? Express my milk? Only if you're comfortable with that. We do have the facilities to store it safely for you. Absolutely not. My baby only takes milk directly from the breast. Okay, well, if you'd like to, you can breastfeed right before you leave him here and then again when you can collect and you can do both of those here. That's no problem. And what about during the day? Oh, in the past, we've had some mums that have come in in the middle of the day to breastfeed their little one. You're more than welcome to do that as well, especially if it helps settle them in for the first few weeks. No, I'll be working. So I want to know which one of you is going to be breastfeeding my little one during the day. Uh, um, I am very sorry, but we do not offer that service here. Um, none of the girls will be breastfeeding your child. It very clearly states on your website that you follow the parents' wishes and the children's routine to keep disruption to a minimum. Oh, of course, and whilst we endeavour to make sure the disruption to your little one's routine is as minimal as possible, I'm afraid I still cannot ask my staff to breastfeed your little one. It's just not something we offer here. Well, then your website is an utter lie. If you can't follow my wishes to have him breastfed here during the day, then his routine will be disrupted, won't it? We can 100% support you with weaning him and keeping to his routine at home. You can breastfeed here as often as you need to as well. But in terms of my staff, I cannot ask any of them to breastfeed your child, I'm afraid. You should state it more clearly on your website that your staff are unwilling to breastfeed the children. This is not the setting for me. I will be finding somewhere else. I wish you all the best with that. Okay, we have quite a few bottles and nappies we need to do, so, um... Um, Georgia, if you're free, would you mind helping me? Can't. No? No. I've got to do an observation on Leon. Oh, okay. Right, Leon, put your hand on this toy so I can take a photo of you. Got it. Um, is that the whole observation? Yeah. Leon was exploring the building blocks 
and expanding his gross motor skills when he held them. You know, Georgia, while I'm doing this painting activity, maybe you could sit with your group and engage in an activity with them. Okay, great. Look, Leon, it's a car. Right, guys, I think it's time to tidy up. I've got to take Stuart in for a nap. Oh, okay, um, it's quite early for his nap. I think he looks tired. Um, yeah, okay, uh, the rest of us will all tidy up. Hey, uh, you've been in here for about 30 minutes now with one child, is everything okay? Yeah, he's just not going to sleep. Do you think maybe he's just not tired? No, he's tired. He'll go off eventually. Okay then, I'll uh, see you when you come out. Okay, it's time to set up for lunch. So if someone can set up all the tables and chairs and someone else sit with- I'll sit with the children. Of course you will. Hey, Georgia, are you planning on taking your guys out in the garden today? Well, there's only 45 minutes till tea, so I don't think there's any point. Oh, that is plenty. They definitely need to get out today. Oh, you're coming back in from the garden already? Yeah, Stuart needs a nappy change. Would you like me to do it so you guys can stay outside? No, it's just easier if we all come in. Hello. Oh, Leon, look, Mummy's here. Oh my God, he's had such a good day. He has been exploring all the different types of cars. We've been working on developing his gross motor skills and he's been out in the garden too, so he's had a fabulous day. Well, it sounds like you've given him a lovely day. It does sound like that. Morning. Morning. It says on the register that Lucille's mum dropped her off at 7.45 this morning. Yeah, she's been dropping off at 7.45 every day this week. That's a little bit cheeky, she doesn't pay until 8. Well, I only had two children so I could take Lucille into my ratio, plus mum had an excuse every single morning about why she needs to drop off early, so I just let her. Did she say anything along the lines of, it's just this once? That's exactly what she said. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, she said it every day but yeah she kept saying it was the last time she did the exact same thing with her older child when they were in the baby room with us she just does not want to pay for the early start oh oh okay i didn't know this was something she had done before it's okay i'm on the early shift next week i'll say something to her good morning oh good morning good morning lucille she's absolutely fine in you go darling bye bye oh sorry just a moment i've got you down on our register starting at 8 a.m well Yes, 7.45, it's only 15 minutes. Of course, but any child who's brought in between 7.30 and 8 needs to book in advance and there is an additional charge. Both of these children's parents both pay for that charge as well. I'm sure you can accommodate me for just one day. Actually, I saw from the register you did drop off at 7.45 every day last week as well. And? And I'm sure you can appreciate that other parents are paying extra for their child to be here at the same time that Lucille's turning up to. Well, she wakes up awfully early at home. What am I supposed to do? Just hang around? I may as well bring her in. Oh, that's absolutely fine. We're more than happy to take Lucille in early in the morning. We just need you to book in advance first so we know that we can expect her between 7.30 and 8. No, if I book it, you charge me. Plus, I don't know when I need the early starts because I can't predict when she wakes up early. Well, if you're not going to book the early start, then I'm afraid you would need to bring Lucille in at 8am. As I'm sure you can understand, it's just not fair if we let people come in free on the earlies and charge other parents for the same thing. Oh, for heaven's sake. Morning, morning, here's some letters I made you to hand out to the parents. If thank heavens you're here, your staff member here will not let me drop off my daughter because I haven't booked in advance. Why are you not letting her drop off Lucille? Uh, uh, because Lucille booked him from 8am. It's only 15 minutes. I'm ever so sorry. You leave Lucille with us and you have a great day. What? Uh, Carly? In you go, sweetheart. Yeah! Would you mind just like totally taking Maxwell to the bathroom, please? Oh, yeah, sure. I've literally just come back from there. Come on, sweetheart. Let's go. Great. Thank you. Okay, darling, do you want to go to the book corner? Oh, my God. All right, Carly, thank God you're here. Right, could you take these two to the bathroom now? Oh, um, yeah, um, I've literally just come back again. So, um, come on, girls, let's go. Totes lifesaver. Thank you. Oh, guys, just in time for lunch. Go wash up and sit down. Please tell me no one else needs a toilet. I've been in the bathroom all morning. 
this little one's pooed. Okay, well, is there any way that you can take him? I would, but I make totes in the middle of an activity, so uh, if you could just take him during lunchtime. Never mind, come on, sweetheart. Okay, great, thanks, bye. A few hours later. Right, look, I know I'm the apprentice and everything, but I have just spent the whole day doing bathroom runs. I know, you totes, poor thing, but I've got like a totes nice change of pace for you. Here is all the children's paperwork that needs to be updated. All of them? Why do I need to do all the children's paperwork? Because you are their new key worker. Who's new key worker? The children's. All of them? Yeah. I've gone from having no key children to 22 key children. Yeah, and that paperwork will keep you so busy you won't even be able to do toilet runs. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's it. I'm going. Wait, 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 where are you going? I God. Marjorie, do you know, I think it's very unfair that high street stores just do not cater to people who've got slightly meatier fingers. Oh, what's up? So for the past few weeks, I have literally been doing all the work that Jodie has told me to do, including today doing a bathroom run for basically what felt like eight straight hours. She's now just given me 22 key children, which is the whole room. I just feel like I'm doing everything in there. Jodie's been making you do all that. We, we all thought we were just working hard to impress everybody. What? No. Right, well, in that case then, go and get her and send her in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How's Jerry been today? Jerry's been absolutely fine. He's really enjoyed the outdoor play area today. Oh, lovely. He's a... Sorry, is that, is, he's got a runny nose? Oh, Jerry, could you get yourself a tissue? Uh, sorry, uh, what are you doing? Um, you said Jerry has a runny nose, so I was just going to get him to get a tissue. What? Well, yes, but why is he having to get it himself? Why don't you get it for him? Oh, Jerry knows where the tissue stand is. He uses it every day. What? No, 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 no. Right, give me a tissue. Uh, Jerry, Jerry, come here, darling. All right, sweetheart, go to mummy. There we go. Go, let's wipe that nose for you. There we are. <laughs> Jerry, maybe you could show Mummy how you wipe your own nose. Oh, no, no, no. He's much too small to be wiping his own nose. Here we go. Let Mummy do it for you. <sighs> Honestly, do you not do this for them? Well, we try and encourage the children to be as independent as possible, particularly the ones in Jerry's group who will be going off to school in September. Hmm, I don't really like that. I don't think he should be expected to try and do this himself. The teacher should be doing this for him. Oh, of course, if a child needed help, we wouldn't just leave them. But we know once they go off to school, it's a lot harder to get a teacher to help each individual child. So that's why we're trying to encourage the independence now. Well, actually, while we're on the subject of independence, I noticed that he came home the other day and he still had a little bit of poop on him. Oh, right. Are you not wiping the children in the bathroom? I do encourage all of the children to wipe themselves once they're in the toilet, as in a few months when they go off to school, it'll be unlikely that they'll be able to get that kind of assistance from the teachers. Well, every time he goes to the loo at home, I wipe him. Oh, I see. Um, and that's every time? Yes, every time he goes to the loo, I help him wipe. Well, of course, if he ever needed the help, we'd be happy to do that. But in addition to independence, we are trying to teach bodily autonomy so that he understands that that is private too. Oh, he's much too young to be learning about that. Next thing you'll be telling me that you make them put on their own coats and shoes. Uh, we do encourage them to put on their own coats and shoes. See, now that's just ridiculous. I put on his coat and shoes for him every morning at home. Well, as I say, the reason we're teaching them this independence now is because once they go off to school in September, they won't be getting help with every little thing, unfortunately. Well, school's still a few months away, so I'll deal with it then. In the meantime, please help him with his coat and shoes, wipe him when he goes to the loo, and when he has a runny nose, go and get him a tissue and wipe his nose for him. I can certainly do all those things, but it will make school a bit of a shock. Good morning. Good morning. Albert is wearing a very expensive, brand new Gucci tracksuit today. It was a gift from a distant relative. Okay, um, it might be hard to keep that clean today. Oh, no, no, I think it's ghastly, but that makes it perfect for nursery. It's lovely and durable, so he can get it as dirty as he likes. How about it? Okay. Hello, hello. 
Hello. I oh, know I've forgotten little one's coat every single day this week. I don't know, I've forgotten it today as well. That's okay, we can just use the spare one we've been using during the week. Oh, no, no. I'm going to shoot home right now. I'm going to go get it. But I'll be about 20 minutes if that's okay. Oh, yes, that's absolutely no problem. She's wearing her reusable nappy today. But don't worry, you don't have to scrape any poop or anything like that. Just put the whole lot in the wet bag and I'll sort it out when I get home. Will do. Just to let you know, he picked up one of his toys on the way out, but I've hidden it in his bag, so just leave it in there. Mum's the word. Oh, also, I've refilled his bag with all fresh clothes for you because I know how dirty he gets. <sighs> In you go, Cedric. Oh my goodness, he missed nursery terribly this last couple of days, but we knew as he was sick we were supposed to keep him off for 48 hours, but hopefully that means nobody else gets what he had. Thank you. Right, it's little one's first day. I'm just going to drop and go. I know she's going to cry. I'm going to go out to the car. I'm going to have a cry, and I'm going to call in about half an hour just to check that she's settled, if that's okay. Of course you can, and I'll put a photo on the app for you as soon as she's settled so you know that she's okay. Morning. Just to let you know, we moved her on to cow's milk on the weekend and she absolutely loved it. So I thought we'd let you know so you can do the same here. Oh, thank you so much for letting us know. Hello, I'm here to collect my grandson. Hi, um, that's no problem at all. But as we've not met, is it okay if I just take the password from you? The password is Regina Falange. Fab. Right, it's time for you to go. Oh, um, I can't actually leave yet. If I go, I'll leave the staff over ratio. Well, that's why I've come here to cover you. You finish at 4.45, you should go at 4.45. Go. I can leave on time. Well, don't dilly-dally, shoot off. <sighs> okay. Where to? Home. I'm going home. Woman, I don't know where the f*** you live. Oh. Evening. Oh, good evening. Lila, your mummy's here. So how did she get on with her toilet training today? She did fantastic. Oh, great. Not a single accident all day. I think she is so ready for this holiday. Oh, I am so happy. Do you know, it was so important to us that she was toilet trained before we went on the holiday. It's going to make it so much easier. No nappies, no wipes, no nappy sacks. It's going to be brilliant. It will make everything so much smoother. She has worked so hard these past few weeks. I am so proud of her. Oh my god, me too. Anyway, we best be off. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye. Have a great time. Bye. <gasps> Good morning. Good morning, Lila. How was your holiday? Oh my god, it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh, wonderful. And she did okay in her big girl pants as well. Oh, yeah, so we had a little bit of a to-do on the first day. Okay. So the second we arrived at the pool, she was like, Mummy, I need a wee, I need a wee. And it was such a trek back to the hotel room. And I was like, oh, my God, if I'm going to be going back and forth, back and forth all day, I'm going to go out of my mind. So I took her back to the hotel room. I thought just for today, I would just literally pop her in a nappy. Oh, okay. Um, so then was she in pants for the rest of the holiday? Well, no, because then after the pool, there came like the day trip and then we was in the restaurant and the idea of going back and forth, back and forth was just yeah. So I literally just put her in a nappy and then it snowballed and it became day one, day two, day three. And then basically we found that <laughs> it was easier having her in a nappy than it was to have her toilet trained. <laughs> oh, I see. So um, after she went back into nappies, was she asking to use the toilet? Oh my god, yeah, literally all the time. She was like, Mummy, Mummy, I need a wee, I need a wee. And I was like, darling, you're in nappies. Literally, just do it where you're stood. <laughs> oh, I see. So she was asking to use the toilet, but she was told to do it in her nappy. Yeah, but like by the second week, she had stopped you on my ear off and constantly asking for a wee, and she was just doing it in her nappy. I see. So, um, is she back in pants today? No, I brought her in in a nappy and I figure I could start her as soon as she gets to you because you did such a good job of training her the first time. Hmm. And it'll be so easy for you because it's not as if she's starting from scratch. Isn't she? And did Ronaldo sleep well last night? Oh, do you know what? He slept so well last night. I think he's going to be in a lovely mood for you today. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, we have a very busy day planned, so you say goodbye to mummy. <laughs> See you later, darling. See you later. Have a nice day. You too. Have a good day. Bye. Right, darling, should we go sign you in? Right, sweetheart. All signed in. Let's get you sat down for breakfast, okay? 
uh, who is, uh, I have Ronaldo, sorry, who's that? I've got no idea. A lady just walked in, handed in to me and walked out. Um, could, could I, could I just see who that is? Yeah, yeah, there you go, sweetheart. Oh, hello, Peter. Um, and you say mum just handed him to you and walked out? Yeah, she literally passed him to me, said there he is and left. Okay, would you bear with me one second? I just want to stick my head out the door to see if she's still here. Oh, yeah, yeah, go for it. Oh my god, she's gone already. Okay, if you leave him with me, um, I'm really, really sorry about this. This has not happened before. Oh no, don't worry, it's fine. Here you go, buddy. Right, I'll see you later. See you later. Hello? Hi, Marjorie. Um, I just wanted to let you know that Peter's mum came in and dropped Peter off with another parent. What, she did handover with a parent? She didn't even do handover. She literally just passed him to a parent, said there he is, and walked out. I didn't even realise that that had happened until I turned around and saw Ronaldo's mum holding him. Wait, did she think Ronaldo's mum was a staff member? Maybe if she wasn't paying attention, but we are all wearing uniforms. Right, well, that is a huge safeguarding concern. I know. Right, I will type out a letter that we will give to the parents tonight, stressing the importance of giving a full handover and also saying it's got to be with a staff member. Okay. But in the meantime, ring mum, but she's notorious for not answering, so leave her a voicemail, and then when she comes in tonight, explain thoroughly to her why this is such an issue. I will do. Right, Peter, let's give your mummy a quick call. Hello, it's just the nursery calling. Um, if you can give me a call back, it was just regarding the handover this morning. That would be great. Thank you. Bye. So what do we do now? Now we wait for her to come in. Um, Summer? Oh my god, I'm literally here to do paperwork. I'm not your room leader anymore. What is it? Gerald said that his tummy's feeling a bit itchy. So tell him to give it a good scratch. Wait, no, Summer. He lifted his top to try and show me, but he was scratching so much I couldn't see it properly. So would you mind going to have a look at it? Because for some inexplicable reason, Gerald likes you. Fine. Gerald, could you lift up your top, please, for summer, so I could check why you're itchy? Okay. Hmm. What is it? It's a small pink circle. Gerald, how did you get that? You don't know. Did your mummy burn you with a cigarette? Yes. Summer, you can't just ask him a leading question like that. Well, it's a good thing I did, because he would never have told us that his mum did that to him. He only said that because you suggested it. You put the idea in his head. Give me the phone. We are ringing mum and getting her down here now. This is unacceptable. Oh my God, Summer, what have you started? Hello, is that Gerald's mum? It's the nursery. Yes, there is something wrong. Oh my God, I got here as quickly as I could. What is going on? I think you know very well what's going on. Right, what's going on? Charlotte just rang me and told me I need to get in here straight away. What's happening? I've just had to rush down here from work because she phoned me up and told me that I've been attacking my child. What? He has a cigarette burn on his stomach. That is impossible. I don't smoke. Nobody in our house smokes. Then explain to me how it got there. How it got where? Do you know, where is the cigarette burn? Show me, please. I would love to see it. Gerald, could you come over here, please? Oh. Hello, darling. Would you mind lifting your top up and showing mummy what you showed Summer earlier? Right, darling, let mummy see it. Oh, my God. See? Yes, I do see. I see ringworm. What? Look at it. It's unmistakably ringworm. All he needs to do is go to the doctors and get some cream for it. Oh, Christ. But he said you burned him with a cigarette. Only because you suggested it. Oh, Summer, did you actually say the words, were you burnt with a cigarette? Yes, because it looked like a cigarette burn. Summer, you can't ask a four-year-old a leading question like that. You could have asked him if he'd been bitten by a chimpanzee and he would have said yes. Not to mention, it looks nothing like a cigarette burn. It's very clearly ringworm. I mean, in your line of work, how can you not recognise ringworm, you absolute buffoon? Hey, let's not insult a buffoon like that.